thank you for joining us again for another episode of In the Spotlight. My name is Amber Twine from IamKindali.com, and today our guest is Keen Smiles. He's a YouTuber, a TV personality, and an all-around entrepreneur. So, um, I actually first heard about you on, a, on YouTube. Okay. And I saw your YouTube video about um, your secret that you had to tell. Mm -hmm. And when I watched it, I got emotional. So, just talk to us a little bit about what made you study YouTube and what made you feel comfortable enough to put out such as... What made me want to do that emotional video was because I was literally in the hospital. I was literally pretty much dying. And then after having a second chance of life, I was like, you know what? I feel like I need to do this video to change other people's lives. We're going to be raw. We're not, I'm not going to edit nothing yes. out. Like, it's going to just be... Yeah. <laughs> it was raw. It was I mean, really, it was you're really You're crying, raw. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm like, I have to subscribe to him. Uh, this is just so interesting. Do you find that you get that reaction a lot of people? I do. Um, like a situation, um, somebody seen me in the store and she was like, are you kidding me? I was like, yes. And she was just like, I saw your secret almost kill me video. And I said, oh, okay. And then she was like, ever since that video, I just be following you. Like, I just, I didn't even know what's going on with you. She's like, I'm glad you're okay and everything like that. So it was cool. So um, I feel as though that video did bring a lot of new supporters like yourself. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it wasn't for that. It was just, I was doing this video to um, inspire people, uh, make people think differently about that and you know, it was, it was, I already knew the video was going to be really a uh, huge impact. I knew that. Once I got done that video, I said, oh. <laughs> the sounds and everything. And I was just getting emotional. And we're not going to tell you guys what the video is about. You're going to have to subscribe to him and view it yourself if you want to know the secret. Um, but tell us the response that you got afterwards. Were the, people hitting your phone? What's your, your subscribers go up? The response was very overwhelming. Like, overwhelming. Like when I dropped the video, uh, I, I literally had to turn my phone off for two hours because mm. the impact was just, it was too much. Like it was it was too much. My phone was blowing up and I was just like, okay. And then that was the same day on Atlanta Housewives came on, so I had to watch my show. <laughs> <laughs> I had to watch that show first. I was like, well, let me watch this this to start time. Then um, I think Mary to Mary said, whatever that show, I watched yes, that too. Mary so then, yes. <laughs> I watched that, that show too. I literally, I, I don't know how many comments is underneath that video on Facebook, mm -hmm. but it's a lot, mm -hmm. and I replied to every single comment. Mm -hmm. Every single one I liked it, I, I responded to every single person. Mm -hmm. People reached out to me, email. I don't know how they found my email. Like, <laughs> they, they, they found me. They, they emailed me. They, um, everybody just, they just did their thing. Everybody just reached out, and then every, it was just nothing but positive vibes. Positive vibes. So Shows are on. That takes me to my next point about the okay. YouTube videos that you do. Um, I've seen your also reaction. I, honestly, I knew what I was doing, but I didn't know what to really talk about yeah. honestly i'm just doing youtube and then i started noticing i'm like oh well let me talk about how tips to um tips for when you're about to move into your apartment mm -hmm. let me talk about this let me talk and then just and then i kind of mix it up with what was current in yeah. life just to give it a little a mixture so that pretty much what that was when i came out with the show reaction mm -hmm. i was like okay i want to interview people mm -hmm. i want um to put this pretty much like what you're doing, spotlight. Mm -hmm. I want to put spotlight on certain people yeah. that people don't know about, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, I'm still in the works of the reaction, so it's going to be way more going on. But as of right now, it's just interviews and things. But later on, it's going to be so much more to come. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean. They booked me for it on Gossip. I was only supposed to be on like one episode, then they called me back again and called me back. So now I'm, I'm pretty much a regular yeah. on Gossip, you know. <laughs> Every Wednesday at 9 p.m., you know, Easter time. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, God, like, no, they're literally like good people. Mm -hmm. I know all the producers behind the scenes, like, it's a really good, positive, uplifting show. They talk about celebrities, but it's, it's, they say some stuff, but the show is just positive. Like, yeah. they got, you know, say some little funny remarks about celebrities, but it's cool. And then by me being on that show, like, I talk to so many different celebrities, so mm -hmm. that's a good look as well. Mm -hmm. And they found me because, well, when the guy booked me, he said that he seen one of my YouTube videos. So you just never know like yeah. who's watching you. He yeah. saw me, now I'm on that show on a regular. Mm -hmm. Then after that, wait a minute, I'm wait, like, wait. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. So that next, and I noticed every single day they would send me a message around the same time. And I did the segment, it was like a couple 15 seconds, but that was actually my first time I showed on TV TV. Yes. 
He smiles on TV. But <laughs> <laughs> that's my first time on TV, and um, everybody was just so happy. And Chris, everybody's wondering like, how you yeah. doing? Like, what is the like? Um, I was watching TV. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. How'd you get there? Exactly. So um, I will be back on the show again. So hopefully more and more and more and more. Yeah. <laughs> That's the goal. You know, hopefully we'll to LA. But um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, I don't know. I'm just happy that that happened. Yeah. And the producers actually like me. So yeah. Because I feel like they didn't like me. They would have said you would have been back. Yeah, yeah. They was like, oh, we're first. you did a really excellent. We needed that. And um, we'll be calling back the next month. I'm like, okay. Yes. Cool. So aside from the personality, which is what I do for, which I've seen, you know, which is what I follow. You also do music, which I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So I know you've been in the studio recently. So are you working on anything special? Can we expect any music from you? Yes, um, you can definitely expect music from me um, later this year. Um, I actually have like a huge surprise at the end of the year. So everybody got to stay tuned to that. So. It's, it's a lot coming. Like I'm excited. Like for the first time, this is like my first time actually coming out as an artist. Like I'm just doing everything this year, so yes. I'm really happy about it. And I want people to take it really serious because I've been singing since I was like 11, or right so since I was 13. I've been in talent shows when I was a teenager. Like this is not something like, oh, I want to go in the studio and record a song. Like this is this is not new. It might be new to a lot of people that that probably don't really know me know me it's new to y'all but people that know me know me they know just the old old news but and that's yeah. about time yeah pretty much because mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of my friends are like well about time about to make music yeah. <laughs> i was like well thank you <laughs> but yeah everybody's going to look forward to it so i'm very optimistic about the future so yeah so what's one thing i'd like to end our spotlight interviews with something that you want to talk to all of words of encouragement or words of wisdom what do you have for us I would say make sure you have your own mind because a lot of people will distract you. Um, the reason I had to cut off some people and everybody's just not for you. You're not gonna have every everybody's not gonna support what you're doing. Everybody is not gonna be happy for you. Some people are gonna be jealous of what you're doing. It's okay to have five friends of course it's okay to tell on your fingers you don't need a whole you don't need a whole crew it's okay for everybody to know you that's fine but know who, who really has your back like yes. when you're up when you're low when yeah so i would say that yes and what can we expect coming up soon where can we find you uh we so <laughs> so oh my gosh where does okay <laughs> so Keep smiles, keep it simple. You can literally Google that. Yes, I'm on Google. And um, <laughs> you can you you can um Google Keen Smiles. Um, I pop up everywhere. My Keen Smiles is like on all social media, like Snapchat, Instagram, um, Facebook, everything you can think of. Twitter is just 